Hi Hans, we're going to go over your pre-assembled Outback grid tie battery backup system. On the right side, you'll have all the DC hookups, and you'll notice on the far right side, you'll also see the DC charge controller for your solar array. On the left side, we've got the AC hookups. If we go into the AC side, we've already got a pre-wired bypass on there. When it's in the up position, it's going to invert. That's the mode you're going to want it in. If for whatever reason the system were to fail, you can hit the bypass and it'll flip to just running grid power straight through to your appliances. But up is the uh, typical way that you're going to have your system. On the inside we've got a ground bar in the lower left hand corner. Top side we've got the AC in leg one. The red is the AC in leg two. AC out from the inverter is the middle black one and the far right black red one is the AC out leg two. And then we've got a common neutral bar down here. In this wiring schematic all the red wires are leg two, all the black wires are leg one, and the gr light green is the ground and the dark green cables like this one here is uh, part of the outback communication cables that it's basically where all your components hook together and talk on the hub and there's a case that'll cover the outside uh, once you get the mate which is this mounted wherever you'd like I'm gonna leave it loose and give you cables so you can put it in a different part of the house if you'd like move over to the DC side we've got two breakers the master inverter breaker is the far left one, excuse me, far right one, labeled master inverter, and the slave inverter is labeled such. You'll notice that the top or to the inverter side is already hooked up for you. The to, po to battery positive side is on the back side of these and will have to be hooked up to your 24 volt DC battery hookup. On the top side, we've got the DC negative bus bar. Uh, this is this right here is where your battery cables negative will hook up. And in the lower left hand side is a DC ground bar, which also has been tied into the negative, which is required by NEC code. Also, laying in here loose is a battery temperature sensor hooked into the master inverter. Also in here is a red positive DC bus bar. This would be a connection you'd make from here to there and it, that'd be only if you wanted to run some DC negative at 24 volt appliances. You've got some covers that are going to go over each side of the AC and the DC. So when it's on the wall it'll be all closed up. Uh, also, to let you know, your your charge controller has been wired up. This is a communications port that lets it all talk together. Um, this would be the PV positive that is already breakered, and this is the battery positive that is already breakered. Uh, the negative is already too hooked up to the negative bus bar inside, and the solar that you hook up, the solar will come into the top of this breaker labeled 24 volts DC array and your battery will come out of the bottom of this breaker labeled 24 volt DC battery. The array negative will hook up here where I have it labeled PV array in, negative in, and your battery negative will hook up the same place on the negative bus bar. Your system should be shipped tomorrow. Thanks for your business, Hans.